Thank you for stopping by. This is Truth Goddess Tarot 777. Hello. Today's read is for Sag. Just for Sagittarius. Hey, Sag. The cards have been shuffled. They've been prayed for, prayed over. Um, let's begin. Overall energy talks about breathe. So Spirit is telling you to just take a deep breath. <sighs> breathe. Take it all in. Relax a bit, right? Serendipity. There's a lot of things that you can, you will be enjoying or serendipity is just about taking each day as it comes to you. Go with the flow, right? Because the journey that you're on, you're going to go the distance and you're definitely going to have a leg up. So, it's like you're running this race. Spirit is telling you, pace yourself. Take your time. You're going to get there. Basically, as you're taking this journey, smell the roses. Smell the flowers. Take your time. Be, be one with nature. Be one with yourself. Connect to your ancestors. Connect. Meditate. Just Learn who you are. Appreciate the finer things. Appreciate where you are. Give gratitude. Because you're going to make it. You're going to go the distance. And you're going to have a leg up. You're going to be winning. You're going to be winning. Definitely. So now that we got that out the way, we have warrior. This is this card was in reverse. You are a warrior, Sag. You, are, you have strength, you're disciplined, you're very tough, you have strong willpower, uh, you're self-sacrificing and conquering your ego. You won't allow your ego to, um, because what a lot of times I think people allow their egos to have them do things that they later on regret. See, when you're balanced, you take a breath and you're one with God and the universe. You understand that it's not about your ego. It's about enjoying the ride while you're on this journey. Okay, somebody is, this is a person that's actually trading ethical principles. This is an unprincipled person. They'll do anything. This is uh, someone will do anything for victory at any cost, right? This is a person who's indifferent to suffering and inflicting pains to, pain to others. This person doesn't care. They're not a warrior. This person is an actual loser because they don't see the flowers they don't understand life. What they do is just go around and try to self-sabotage and beat people up who are who's less than them. They're not a true fighter when it comes to um, going the long distance. This person, this came in reverse. This person is a martyr, right, in the reverse. A martyr in the reverse is somebody that's always looking for self-pity, right? You're the type of person that would actually um, go within. And this is what Spirit is telling you, to go within. This is somebody who looks for somebody to give them a handout. You know, when they're going through a situation, they can't go the distance. That's also what that's talking about because this is a pioneer. A pioneer is somebody when they start something, they finish it because they have the confidence, the willpower, and the drive to do it. This is somebody that's very indifferent. This is a person that just doesn't have the tenacity to go the long distance, right? This is somebody who has a perplexity and a need to just move on. They can't sit still long enough to meditate, to complete a, a project in any way. This person is definitely a loose cannon, right? Okay, so then we have seeker. Hmm. As a seeker, when it comes to you, 
You have a thirst for wisdom and truth wherever you are. So you look for the truth. You look for doing things that will benefit you and others around you. This is a person that actually is, ha they have the in inability to commit to anything. Like what we're saying, this person is not a pioneer. They won't start anything. They follow the crowd. And then they're the type that has this um, inability to commit to any kind of, um, this person doesn't commit to any kind of project. Like you'll go the long distance. This person will be impatient and won't don't have the mindset to stay focused on one thing to complete it to have success. So then we have, as I said, this is a self sabotager. This is somebody that will induce self destructive behavior just to um, undermine others. This is a dirty rat. This is a self a sabotager. This is somebody that will just do things to hurt those so that they won't move to the next journey or succeed. And you're a goddess, right? This person doesn't have goddess, God or goddess, or they're not a goddess or God. This is a, a person that's looking for exportation of the female, right? This is a person that will take advantage of a woman. As a goddess, you're the feminine that expresses through wisdom, through nature, through life, life, light force and sensuality. So this is somebody that wants to sabotage you because they know you have what it takes to go the distance for success, right? So with that being said, the first card that came out hmm, was celebrating quietly. Hmm. Mom's the word. So spirit is telling you at some point you're going to be celebrating and spirit wants you to, you know, maintain balance and um, keep your journey uh, private. This is somebody that's trying to escape. This is somebody that doesn't have, again, the tenacity to go the long distance. See, you have a leg up because you're you're going to meditate and get yourself in the energy so you you can go the long distance. This is somebody who has mental health issues. This is somebody that escapes a challenge. This is why this person could never go the distance because what they do, they're not a self-starter. This is somebody that looks, they're codependent on others for them, for them to even take a step in life. They they depend on other people. And this person is a racist. This is what this person is. They also are in this energy where they're so indifferent that they're numbing themselves. This is a person, because they don't have the ability to go to distance, they're going to numb themselves of the pain of not being a winner. This is somebody whose finances are blocked because this is somebody who doesn't have the skill set. This person is not a pioneer. They sit back and use other people's resources in order to even just to live day by day. Where you're, on the other hand, building your um, empire or a business, whatever it is, whenever you do something, you go the full distance. See, you do that because you understand that it takes time to build and to be successful, right? So then you have somebody in the energy that they're way down. This person, again, doesn't have the strength to maintain any kind of tenacity or strength or even a mental capacity to, to complete any kind of project. This person is very restless and reckless. This is how they get their money by gaslighting gas lighting people, okay? This person will pay psychological games, you know? This is somebody that, again, their finances are blocked. They're not going to get this money. They're not going to, they don't have the ability to make money. So now this person is isolated, right? They're all alone. 
This person is a follower, right? This person is a sheep. They follow others because they're not a pioneer. They don't seek to find their own way in this life. So they sit back and try to sabotage people like you that are goddesses, that destiny is, is going to be yours, period. You're, you're destined to be successful. This person is jealous because you do stand out from the crowd. This person is a bigot. They hate the fact that you're, you're very different that you know how to continue to grow. You're not a sheep on your own, right? This person is sitting back strategizing how they can um, scare tactics. They're scare tactics. This person is trying to intimidate you, right? If not you, it's somebody else. So this person, because they don't have the ability to think beyond the moment, they're the type of person, they have this mentality, oh, you only live once. So they, they don't plan out things like you do. Like this, I guess it's a leopard. This, you, you know that in order to have success, you have to go the distance. This is a person that's... They're so temperamental that in order for them to have any achievement, they have to do wild things to get their money. Then secret stash. You either have a secret stash or just somebody has a secret stash. See, this person is very burdened. They're jealous of your looks. You are a goddess. Their moods are hot and cold. This is somebody who is definitely suffering from mental illness, and we already had this. This is somebody that I feel like is bipolar. Their moods are one minute they're up, one minute they're down. I feel like this person's behavior is just unbelievable. This person was scam, you or this person, but I feel like this person was scam because... They jumped into the idea of, oh, well, you only live once. This is not, this is a martyr. This is somebody that's addict, addicted to self-pity because this person jumped out and invested in a scam. They're sitting back having all this excessive baggage on them because they are about to have a breakdown. Right? Their finances have been blocked. They don't have any money. Now, the secret stash, let's clarify that. And at the bottom of the deck, we have eternal problems, childhood problems. This is a person that has the inability to grow up and be responsible. Remember, this person just feels like, oh, you just live once. Let's just do it. They just move in energy without even thinking. All right, this is extreme dependencies on others for financial security. So this person needs others in order for them to just, as I stated earlier, to live. They don't have the mental capacity to maintain a home. This person doesn't have the ability to keep up with any kind of project to maintain, to receive money, to pay their way through life. This person sounds like they they definitely definitely need um, medical attention. This person is strategizing. This is a person that feels burdened because they took a leap of faith and didn't have the onset mind to take their time before jumping out the window, knowing they couldn't afford what they were doing. Now they're trying to escape the problems and the pressures of all these, all the baggage. It's all become a burden to them. Let's see. Let's clarify a couple cards. What's a burden for this person? Huh. The burden is 
They know that success and justice is on its way for you. This person is burdened by the fact that you're going to go the long distance, and they know it. They know that you have a leg up because you're very, um, you're a pioneer. You, when you set out to, to, to plan something, you go the long distance to get it. You're going to get it. This is burdening this person. This person is jealous of you, not just only of your beauty, but the fact that you have too much intelligence to, to get scammed. This person is burdened because they're worried that you're going to have complete happiness. It's going to be your wish fulfillment. It's going to be justice because this person took their money and whoever this person is to you, they didn't offer to give you anything. They were very deceitful. This is a liar. They got scammed. They may have told you that they were doing something very productive with their money where they when they weren't because this person is always in a rush to try to get money quick through lying and cheating and stealing you don't move that way when it's when it's time to take the necessary major steps you're going to do it you're going to go and complete whatever it is you need to do because you have a leg up because you're a chosen you have patience you're balanced you have wisdom you have joy in your heart and you know that you're going to have success and victory. Again, balance. You have a high dose of balance. And you're very happy with within, right? You love yourself. That's what this meditation card is about, all right? So we have that. And then we're going to look at this person is worried because you are successful. And they know that you, you have the, the talent the men mental capacity to complete any project, and they don't. Give me a card for hot and cold. So Spirit is just wanting you to know, Sag, that you have an envious person in your energy. Hot and cold. What is the card? I just see. Oh, yeah. This person is upset, competing with you or others. Hmm. So this person was in a stalemate. They were <laughs> indecisive in a relationship, right? In a choice between two people, two friends, two intimate lovers, a partnership. They couldn't make up their mind that they wanted to be with you or someone else. <laughs> so this is why... This person with one minute act as if you guys were together and the next minute they would blow you off. But see, they realize that this bad treatment, all it did was propel you to go within and to find a new way to bring balance and happiness and success because you are equipped with a lot of skills. Remember, you're a pioneer. You seek out to bring yourself abundance and success. This person is envious and jealous, not only, again, of how you have a leg up in your outer beauty, but your balance when it comes to your inner beauty, okay? So this person is strategizing, right? To try to sabotage you. The card is out here. This person, again, is a follower. This person is a sheep. This person is wanting to gaslight you because this is all they know how to do is numb themselves because this person doesn't have the talent. So what they do is go somewhere and hide and decide that it will be too much it's too difficult for them to try to heal themselves from a childhood tragedy. So instead, they take the easy way out and they do a lot of things for money. Wow. That's sad. That's very sad. So you got somebody who uses their body to, to survive. It's really pathetic. 
So let's secret stash. Who has the secret stash? One card for secret stash. One card for secret stash. Hmm. It looks like secret stash. Secret stash. Secret stash. Who has the secret stash? And this is stockpiling. Who was stockpiling? So, was this person, hmm, yeah, the king of pentacles? Oh, I did. Uh, yeah, there was a king, there's a king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, this is somebody that's abundant, stable. Somebody's planning to come. To, wow. So, at the bottom of the deck, as the empress there's plans of you having or moving to a home with the king of pentacles wow so spirit is taking you <laughs> on a journey in which you're going to have a home or purchase a home you're making plans to buy a home to have stability to move in with the king of pentacles wow that's Amazing. <laughs> the secret stash. Card for the secret stash. Wow. So you guys are going to... That, this... So we have you as the empress. Oh, yeah. Somebody was lying when they were investing money at night. This person was squirreling away money behind your back. If it wasn't them, it was somebody else with the six. And they were lying about it. So this person, somebody was, you know, stealing and lying and taking money from this person. This is how they got scammed. They were, <laughs> this person was truly, honestly, squirreling away money or giving money to someone. And that person, all they were doing was stockpiling it stack stockpiling it they were secretly stealing it wow hmm. somebody was lying and cheating yeah this is somebody in their family who they, who they now have a problem with who they they coming after this person this person stole money from them taking their money and stockpiling it this is a person in their family who they were celebrating with, partying with. They got scammed by their family. And this is the secret. They would never want you to know. <laughs> they would never want you to know because you're too beautiful and confident and business-minded. I feel like secretly, this person, wow. Somebody did. They wanted to start a new. It's like they turned their back on you to start something new in secret. And when they do, when they did that and collaborated, the universe brought down this person because they were lying, stealing, stashing money, giving it to uh, someone else. But they end up getting scammed. Right. But see, the universe is telling you that, male or female, that you're sitting comfortably in your home and you're making plans to be with this king of pentacles. Wow. That's beautiful. So somebody was stashing money on them. And this is why they feel so burdened. But remember, this is the same person who said, you only live once. So they just gave their money to somebody. A family member. Again, they gave their money to a family member who now they're in, they're very angry because this person caused them to lose a lot. This person who lied, who was in their family, they thought they were going to have, they invested a lot of money with this family member, family and friends. And it went crashing down. It was a major upset. They had to, they had realized that this person, yeah, this they're sad. They're depressed. This is what it's showing here. 
Yeah, they're depressed. They're unhappy. Now they're trying to figure out a way to how they can gaslight you to offer you. Because they were trying to juggle. Remember, this person was indecisive. See, but the universe... <laughs> the universe is having it where you're making plans to be with somebody that's very that's much more stable than this person. You're going to meet this person when you plan something about you being stable, having abundance, going in a, in a new direction with this King of Pentacles. Wow. So now this person is trying to escape their problems. Tell us about the escapism and then we're going to close. Because, see, you're beautiful. You're very alluring. And this is why this person is also jealous of you. They're jealous of your ability to maintain your stability and have a home, have wealth, riches, stability, love. This person is uh, just all over the place. This is how they get their money, by throwing it back, male or female. Yeah, this person lost a lot of money. They was giving a lot of money to their family. Remember the Ten of Pentacles? They invested a lot with their family. This wild things. Who's this wild things? Okay, this person is a gambler. So they sold their body for sex. And now they're sad and depressed. I feel like you already knew this person was doing this. Hmm. This person realizes that you were, you are very intuitive, and you are a hard worker. In secret, this person is jealous of you because you're a hard worker, and you turned your back on this person, and you blocked this person. This person knew that once you became very successful, they knew that these people would see you, and they knew that you would turn your back and no longer have communication with this person. They knew once you found out about the lifestyle that they live, you would never talk to this person again, ever. They know that. See, because you have good fortune and success and blessings and abundance. Yeah, this is what this person knew. They know that being that they were a trick, a call girl, call, call, call a call girl or a call guy, uh, a, a prostitute, a, a dancer, a person who sells their body for sex, uh, something. They do something for money. See, you would always reject somebody like this. See, they was getting a stockpile of money in secret. Mm-hmm. Doing their wild things. This was somebody that they were married to or in secret. They were secretly committed in a marriage. Wow. And it was somebody they got married to in their past. This is who they wanted to work things out with. This is somebody who they manifested. This is somebody they had, had strong desires to give them a lot of money in secret. This is the person that lied to them, who they was delivering money to. They were very honest and practical, and they took their time to invest a lot of money with this person behind your back in secret. They gave them a lot of money. This person that they had that was a childhood friend, a lover, somebody that they knew, they trusted. Mm -hmm. They did a lot of lying and stealing and cheating. They wanted. They married. They they married this person. They was very committed to this person behind your back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they went on foolishly. Remember, this person, they don't, they, they're they not a self-seeker. This person is not a pioneer, so they just follow the crowd. They don't have a mental capacity to do something on their own or think on their own. This is a person, the only thing they know how to do to get their money is by throwing it back. Here you are with intelligence beauty, brains, um, spiritual growth, spiritual connection, 
to the ancestors and God. I mean, you're just one blessed individual with that world core. You just have it all. Like this person has to do a lot. They gaslight people. They're jealous of people. They're jealous of you. They do all kind of wild things just to get any kind of money. This is a person they feel weighed down. Mm -hmm. But see, you're determined, hardworking, confident businesswoman or businessman. You work. You're going to have success because you put work and time in, and you're very masterful at what you determine to put your energy into as an entrepreneur or a business person. Right. You're going to have that Ten of Pentacles because you you put in the time and energy. And this is where you're going to have work with your family. You're going to work very hard. Uh, like some of you guys are going to partner up with your family members. And you guys are very determined to do that. This will be a very successful business. You guys will celebrate the success of this endeavor with your family. Mm -hmm. You got some people that will stab you or try to stab you, but everything will be fine. The ones that have tried, it's not going to matter. <laughs> it hasn't happened. These people realize that you, you're going to have partnerships and you will celebrate. So and this is somebody that's going to come to you, a cancer um, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, they, they're going to come towards you. Someone from, someone is not going to be looking at their past and going to be coming towards you for a new start, right? They're going to offer you a solid new life in love. While this person will be still determined to try to win you back at all costs but it's 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 all about gaslighting you trying to scam you because this person is way down they don't have the 